Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome to part 6 of the Monster Jam collection video for my channel. Of course, like I mentioned in the last video, I'm not going to be having the whole collection in this one because I have them stored away in plastic bins now. So almost half of the collection that you've seen is now in storage. So we're just going to kind of look at some of the old stuff, just a little bit of it, plus the new stuff that I've accumulated over this year. And it's a lot, trust me. It might seem like it's just been one year, but it's a lot of stuff that I've added. Also some new displays, and I'm also tossing in fiberglass and crew shirts into this mix of this video because I feel like you guys want to see that as well because I get lots of questions on it. So let's start with the main display tower. It's stuff you've seen before. I'm not going to name off trucks. I'm just going to show you guys uh, all the variations that I got up there. You can see uh, there they are. Uh, I guess I'll name off a couple like Blue Thunder, Aftershock, Metal Militias back there. And we have some remnants of Hot Wheels Monster Jam on this shelf as well with the Silver Collection, the Bone Bashers or Busters. I can't remember which one they are. Uh, the Bad News, all of them, the Stars and Stripes. And then we have some Hot Wheels Monster Trucks starting here in the front. Some of the Black and White series. Uh, then we have just some random stuff tossed in. So you'll see some stuff. It's not at all organized. The, this display tower is no longer very uh, prioritized in my collection. So you can see there's random stuff all over the place. Most of the WWE trucks are still here. And that's just a custom I didn't finish yet. Uh, so you can see there's the Medusas. Some of the modern day WWE trucks that Hot Wheels did. Actually all of them. And then the SpongeBob trucks. Some Marvel trucks back there as well. And then here are the Dirt Squad vehicles of 2020 in the front row of this Spin Master shelf. We also have all of the Alien Invasion variants, the Raymers, Radical Rescues, Captain's Curses, Dragons, Northern Nightmares. And then more uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks, the uh, Blizzard Bashers. I do not have the 2020 ones yet, but these are 2019 and 2018. Also the Matchbox monster trucks. I still have them on display because they are uh, different than normal Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks, and then some more Spin Master stuff that has not made it to the main shelf that you'll see. And then on the bottom, uh, some remnants of Hot Wheels Monster Jam again, and some Hot Wheels Monster Truck variants. And at the time of filming this video, I have completed Hot Wheels Monster Jam, so every variation of Hot Wheels Monster Jam that exists that we know of, I currently have in the collection. And then here are some trucks, the stragglers, that go on a different shelf that you guys uh, won't see. It's just a random shelf in my closet, but you can see here, uh, here are those trucks. Just quickly going through them. It's mostly 2018 and 2020 stuff for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Also, you'll see some random Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. Just ignore those. They're just kind of hanging out. Um, so here they are. And also in this video, you might see some stuff I have not reviewed yet or won't review, like these two exclusive playset uh, Shark Reeks. So there they are. And there's other stuff. You can see also some other things I have not reviewed yet, which I will get to, which is like Case C and Case B. Uh, some Monster Mashers, some Spin Master Dragons that didn't fit on the shelf. Uh, also, Mix 15 is in this video. You'll see some kind of just hanging out. Some full charges. Uh, shout out to Jeremy Johns for this buckshot, Twisted Addiction. Here's some Fire and Ice 5-pack trucks. And then shout out to my friend. I can't remember who sent this, but in Italy for this Little Miss Dangerous high-maintenance uh, Monstrium logo, which is the gray logo variation, which was a hard one to find. So thank you for that, whoever sent me that in. So uh, there is the floor. That's the little remnants of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and Monster Jam, a little bit of Spin Master and Monster Mashers. So now we're going to switch to my main shelf for Spin Master. Okay, so here is the main Spin Master display case or shelf, actually, I should say. Uh, you're going to see a display case in a little while, but this is the Grave Digger display. And you'll notice that a lot of my Grave Diggers aren't even on this shelf anymore because they're actually in the display case I just talked about. So you can see here's all the variations of Son of a Digger, Grave Digger that I currently have out here. So here's all the variations of Son of a Digger. They are all different. They may look the same, but they are not. Um, there's a Grave Digger, the legend in there. Uh, some other Grave Diggers tossed in more son of a digger and then we transfer over to max d and maximum destruction for mix 14 and then mix 15's avenger world finals 20 is back there 
And then down to the Mystery Machines and the Scooby-Doo's, as well as the rest of the Dog Pound, Monster Mutts, Dalmatians, Rottweilers, Husky, and Poodle. And then Soldier Fortune, Wolf's Head, Bounty Hunter, and the other members of Team 2 Extreme. Slinger's back there as well. Then we have the Bakugan Dragonoids, the Blue Thunders, Higher Education, Pirate's Curse back there, uh, Team Scream, Brodozers, and the DC Trucks as well. We also have Team Jester. There's Joker. And then we have the Black Pearl and Backwards Bob. And then the Bari Musaur Zombies. And you'll realize that I put Backwards Bob here because he drove Backwards Bob at his debut show. So it's cool to have them all together. And then we have the Megalodons and the El Toro Locos, as well as the horse casting trucks, the racing stripes, sparkle smashes, and the horse powers. The bottom shelf here, we have Mohawk Warrior, as well as Earthshaker, Oxinators, Crustaceans, uh, Big Kahuna, Ice Cream Man, Raising Cane, Earthshakers, and then uh, Salvager, Calavera back there, the Sasquatch and Yeti, Wildfire, Freebird, and then some random trucks. I can't even see back there, so you guys are seeing what you see. I can't narrate it. And then on to the other shelf over here, which is the last Hot Wheels Monster Jam shelf that's completely Hot Wheels Monster Jam. This will soon change. I still have all of my Grave Diggers displayed. These are all the variations of Grave Digger. And if you see empty spots, it's because they've been promoted to another display case. I just haven't organized it again. Then here's some more Grave Diggers, Son of a Diggers, all the Max D's, Great Clips Mohawk Warriors, or actually, these ones are Mohawk Warriors, the other ones are Great Clips Mohawk Warriors. So all of the Max D's, Jester, Earthshaker, Grave Digger, and then all of the Monster Mutts by Hot Wheels, all of the Prowlers, Predators, Pouncers, Zombie Hunters, Mega Rex, Nitro Hornet. And then down here is El Toro Loco, Bulldozer, uh, Donkey Kong, Dragon, Zombie, Pirate's Curse, Arachnophobia. And that completes the last two of the white shelves, which are the originals that I've always shown off. And now we have plenty more to look at in different display cases. So now on to the glass display cases. Right here, I'm gonna do fiberglass soon, but you can see I have my display cases sorted out by company. We have Spin Master with the Gravedigger Tombstone of Spin Master, which will lead us into the special edition Steel Titans 124 Golden Gravedigger variations. We also have the 30th anniversary Gravediggers, which are my favorites. Also some customs from the community. We have the Savage One Customs uh, Son of a Digger. Uh, Bob Hagen rusted out one of my uh, This Race Saves Lives St. Jude trucks. This is my favorite Rustum by Bob, which is an accurate Grave Digger number one, Grandma Grave Digger, to this day. And then a rusty or muddy Son of a Digger. Then I do this every year. You can see we have the Max D 5-pack on display with other Max D variations and the Maximus figures. So there they are. And of course the classics back there. I can't show you the next shelf because it's mix 16. But moving on down to the third shelf inside of this glass case. We have the Toy Fair exclusive 1 of 1000 Grave Digger inside of the box. I also built this custom display case for it. Or I didn't build it, but I put the vinyl on top to make it a little more special. And then we also have underneath that a Bakugan one. Same stuff going on. Of course, this is before they switched over to the acrylic case uh, in 2021. But there's both of those. Then some random trucks. That's a custom, by the way, the Del Scorcho. Then some, uh, also the Superstore exclusives kind of made their way into here. And then the bottom shelf is the current thematic series, which is the Zombie Invasion and Zombie vs. Hunters. Here is all of them displayed. And then if we switch over now to Hot Wheels. So there's the Hot Wheels tombstone. Shout out to Dan and Austin Dalgren for that one. Really cool to have that. We have the Bigfoot 124 scales. Some of my favorite models, the Oscar Mayer and the Will Trash It All, and then all of the Bigfoot variations to this day, as well as Snake Bite now. And of course, the first chase piece, which was Barbie, and the mini Bigfoot. And then we have the classic World Finals trucks by Hot Wheels, including World Finals 10, 1 of 1000, and then the rest of them as they went on in the years, and then 124 scale. Then we have the Then and Now trucks, the uh, retro editions, all eight of them on display. And the Halloween trucks, as well as the Whiteout 2003 trucks that I call them. 
So all four Halloween trucks by Hot Wheels, all four whiteout trucks. Then the chase pieces by Hot Wheels Monster Jam, the blackouts, those seven, and the three golden machines, as well as the 124 scale Monster Jam 25. It's an exclusive, that's why I put it in here. It's not a chase piece. And also the chase piece of the Mighty Mini series, which were the chromes and the split paint job Hot Wheels. And then this is just um, some customs down here, not very important, and the original four long car trucks. So those are there. And now we're on to my acrylic cases, which are on the other side of the room. Here are actually my shelves that are acrylic. I bought these on Amazon, very cheap and very effective. So you can see I have some fan art here, which I don't remember who made this, but it's a painting of my logo. We have a Sobe, which is my first truck ever uh, sticker, a Monster Mo City training vehicle by uh, Water Brother Creations, a piece of Backwards Bob's Fender alongside a packaged Backwards Bob, and a piece of Son of a Digger from Mutant Zoomies. I also have these two printed or 3D printed uh, Monster Jam logos from 5150 Black Box. So thank you to Billy and Kristen for those. Then we have the 2020 holiday exclusives from the Superstore, which was, of course, the Independence Day Freebird, the holiday exclusive itself from Christmas time, the Monster Jam Stunt Truck, and then the Halloween truck from this year, which was Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Vampire. Then we have those specialized Monster Trucks Racing 5 vehicles by Hot Wheels, which are still some of my favorites they've ever done. So I have them on display, the red line trucks. And then my Bigfoot collection from Greenlight, which is Bigfoot 7 and 5. And that's all of the variations of that truck so far, at least that casting. And you can see we have the original first one, which was Bigfoot 5, then the Chase Piece Green Machine. We also have the Grandpa's Diecast exclusives, which was the original Blue Chrome and the Chase Piece, one of 252 in the world, uh, Chrome Edition which is my favorite. Then we have the ultra rare Target chase pieces, which are the red ones. So we have the Bigfoot 5 muddy edition of the red chase piece from Target and the Bigfoot 7 chase piece from Target, as well as the normal edition of Bigfoot 7 muddy and the normal edition of Bigfoot 5 muddy. Then the normal edition of Bigfoot 7 itself alongside its chase piece, which was the raw body that they did. And then the standard chase piece, not Target exclusive, Bigfoot Muddy 7 and Bigfoot Muddy 5. Then we have the actual chase pieces of Monster Jam Spin Master from 2019, which was the training trucks. So here's all of them in package. I kept one of each uh, and bought a couple in the Superstore to put on my display wall. And then I started the ride trucks. I have not finished them yet, but we have the Grave Digger, BKT, Blue Thunder, and Megalodon, and then the Great Clips Moloch Warrior Vampire because I had an extra one from the Superstore, my friends there, and it was a mint card, so I decided to keep it. And something lives here all the time, but you can't see that until March. But for right now, a temporary replacement is this Tom Mance or Goldberg signed by Tom Mance on the wall. But that'll disappear after this video ends. And my only Hot Wheel on display is the Passing Gasser, which actually has the city where I live and grew up in, Redondo Beach, on it. It's a super treasure hunt inside of a protective card. So I put it inside here uh, on this display case just to have it somewhere. Then we have a green light, uh, Bigfoot one, my first ever truck, Sobe, and all of the 2020 Monster Jam creatures. And then this is the display case I talked about when I showed you guys the grave diggers. So on the top here, 2019's chase piece, again, the training trucks out of the box this time. And then it leads up into the Toy Fair employee exclusive of each year. This is the 2019 Grave Digger 1 of 1000. Then moving down to 2020, the Bakugan Dragonoid. And all of the ride trucks of 2020. Chase pieces. And then I have not started the 2021 chase pieces, although I have the first one. I'm going to wait a little while because I have the Grave Digger 5 pack on display. So here they are. And then from this point on, it's just random grave diggers. So here's the Reveal the Steel Grave Digger, Green Ghost. And of course, the placeholder when we do do chase pieces here, this is the 2021 Toy Fair exclusive Grave Digger Ride Truck with the sparkly rainbow finish. And then the Grave Digger Fire and Ice, Grave Digger Split Paint Job Fire and Ice, the Zombie Grave Digger, Reckless Trucks, Overcast, and Inverse Trucks which is the one with the door on the side, which is a rare variation. Mix 15's Grave Digger the Legend, which you'll see soon. And just some more random Grave Diggers. Not to be super specific with the rest of them, just all of the different variations. So it's a giant display full of Grave Digger and the train trucks. And then moving on to the next stuff, which is 
the rarest Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. These are uh, these two are customs by Bob Hagen. That's an error uh, grave digger. So you can see the BKT's prints on the actual tire tread, which was given to me by Jake Brown and his son. So thank you to them. And then you can see I have the original three Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks, as well as those six pack exclusive Snowhawk and Holland Heat trucks and the Easter exclusive Iron Warrior, some five pack exclusives, the new Tool Silver Collection Grave Digger, and the Race Rewards exclusives, all five of them, as well as the Redline Club exclusive, all metal Grave Digger. And then these are the rarest of the rare. This is my most expensive case. All three of the Canadian exclusive Skatazoids, West 49. And then of course the uh, Blue Edge Glow Roll Cage Full Bore alongside one of the birthday trucks and Exterminator. And then the other birthday truck, shout out to Tanny and Rude for helping me get these. He's very generous for helping me get these two because they're extremely hard to find. A prototype of the Holiday Hauler with the tree in the back. And one of the rarest things I own, which is the Taxi 3 Monster Truck from Japan. And then we have the playset variations of Amsoil Shock Therapy and Virginia Giant, super rare. And then we have the rarest truck here in my collection for Hot Wheels Monster Jam, which is the Feral Tour Pink Medusa from Australia again. So it's super hard to find. And then we have the last ever Toys R Us exclusive, which is the Monster Jam 25 truck from the 12 pack. BKT from the Superstore, as well as Carolina Crusher from the Superstore. And then we have the world's smallest vehicles, which I will be reviewing soon. They're super tiny little things, all three of those. And we have just a random custom body of Hagen Hagen. Shout out to Riley McCord. And then here are the other rare trucks by Hot Wheels Monster Jam, which are just variations. So uh, not super crazy, but they are pretty rare, but not as crazy rare as these are. So we'll start here with the Hulk, which is the yellow Monster Jam logo variation. Most of them you'll see have the USHRA badge. The Spider-Man as well with the Monster Jam logo. Shout out to um, Joseph Nelson. A mint condition, which is hard to find. A bell helmet truck. That's not a variation. It's just it doesn't have room to be in here. So it's in there. And then shout out to 5150 Black Box and Kristen, his wife, once again for this uh, Grave Digger 20th anniversary Monster Jam logo variation. Usually there are USHRA badges. And then these two big hubs are yellow Monstrium logos, which you don't usually see on the big hubs. So this is a rare cyborg. And this one is the only one we know of, of this style, which is a yellow Monstrium logo of TMNT Leonardo. My friend in Italy, I think his name is Edardo or something like that. Uh, I, I probably pronounced that wrong, but shout out to you. You know who you are. I really, really appreciate him sending that from Italy, which was crazy. So that's now in the collection. And then we have the infamous, not sure where it came from, but it's here, uh, Monster Jam logo Team Mints, which usually you'll see USA Dre badges on it. And then the six pack exclusive Grave Digger with the new graphics on the small hub. And then the six pack exclusive Hot Wheels Orange, which came from that same six pack. I wanted to display all the six pack trucks, but I didn't have room in this display case. If I get a fourth one, I definitely will. And then the European exclusive Undertaker from the WWE Smack Pack series. The United States edition, US edition of Rey Mysterio with the SmackDown logo in the window. And alongside that, in that pack was the Triple H from the USA packs as well. So these three are all of the rare WWE trucks. And then this is how I completed Hot Wheels Monster Jam, thanks to Dave in Canada, as well as another fan in Canada. I can't remember what his name was, but uh, they sent me these from Canada the exclusive editions of the Backwards Bob and Stone Crusher Color Shifters, which have those uh, Advanced Auto Parts Moss Jam logos. That's what the variation is on those. You won't find those on the USA ones. They're going to have normal Moss Jam logos. And then this very obvious spot is actually where the King Cab Metal Base Medusa usually is, but the one I'm getting from my friend Matt, which is in mint condition, has not arrived in the mail yet because of all the holiday delays. So unfortunately, it won't be making an appearance in this year's collection video, and it wasn't in my collection last year, so we're gonna have to wait till 2021 to actually see it in the collection, but it will go there eventually when I get it back. And now here is the last die cast portion you're gonna see here, which is the 124 scales. I'm not gonna be specific, I'm just gonna show you real quick what I have currently. So here they are. Mostly Spin Master, only one Hot Wheels Monster Jam truck, or Hot Wheels Monster Truck, I should be actually more specific with that. And also shout out to my friend Aaron for making me this Monster Jam OCD truck. I hope one day I can have my own truck. That's a dream that I have, but uh, he has made one. 
uh, off of my logo and brand. So that's really nice of him. You can see he signed it for me as well. So there's the 124 scales. And now we're on to the fiberglass and the final bits of my collection. Here's some miscellaneous fiberglass pieces that I don't really display. I just have in a, a bin. We have two spikes from Maxti and Maxti Fire. Uh, Ear of Zombie, thanks to Mike Nugent. A piece of Hot Wheels, signed by Scott Buto, the split paint job scheme, the gold side. Stephen Thompson gave me this in Anaheim, this piece of Earthshaker. He's really awesome. Thank you so much, Stephen. And then a piece of War Wizard. And today this arrived right before I recorded this video, which is actually a piece of the grill of the new Kraken. So you can see I have the Spinmaster model coming out in 2021. On top of it, I was taking a photo. And also a piece of Purple Jester, which was also displayed on top of that. So there's the small pieces of fiberglass and now on to the bigger ones. So I'm going to show you guys this without flash on. This is a front clip of NEA. It glows. I did fix the LED strip inside. Uh, usually it'll be doing a circle, but right now I just have it as a stagnant white light. And then this is a piece of Doomsday, obviously the only real notable piece of Doomsday, which is the front grill. I added LEDs in the back of it to make it glow red to get it a little more exciting here uh, for this piece. But this is my favorite uh, one of my favorite trucks that ever ran. So it's nice to have that. And then on top of it, I have my custom St. Jude, this race saves lives trucks because I had, uh, won this from the St. Jude auction that they hosted. And then up here we have the obsessed tailgate that I won in their giveaway. So thank you again to team obsessed. That's really, really cool to have up there. And there's my flash. So you can see it better right there. And then we also have a wing of the Bakugan Dragonoid. I have a lot more uh, wings of it in the garage, but this is one of them. One of the only intact ones. And then Cannon Murphy's name up there as well. One of my favorite drivers. And then we're going to shift over to one last piece on my other one. Actually, I lied. It's two pieces here. We can see this is the entire side panel of the Bakugan Dragonoid. You can see its giant arm. There's the 124 scale and the new playset exclusive 164 scale on the arm as well. And the Christmas ornament Bakugan Dragonoid. It's more fitting for the holidays. And then my favorite piece of my collection, which is the front clip of Son of a Digger with its glowing working headlights. And this uh, was really cool to get. So I've been looking for this for years and finally found one for a very decent price. And now it lives right underneath the Bakugan Dragonoid arm. So thank you to the person who donated this to my collection for free. You know who you are, you're awesome. And then this one is just really cool to have in the collection. I know it's a little bright to see. Let me try to tone that down a bit. You can kind of see it there, but uh, it's really nice to have that front clip. So there is the fiberglass collection, and also there's a tombstone thing up there of Gravedigger as well alongside those two, but uh, not as important as these guys. So now we're on to the crew shirts and the finished part of this collection video. The main crew shirt obviously is my Monster Jam OCD one that I wear to events now. Uh, it has all of my logo on it and then a bunch of little things inside of the design. Uh, Mutant Zoomies, who designed this original logo, is credited on the arm here or the badge here. And then we have the Hangouts crew, which unfortunately is no longer really around, but I did have them on there at the time. Mike Bev, who redid the logo in Photoshop. And then at the time as well, we had Mike Thompson, um, his passing. I had him on here as well because I feel like that's an important thing to add. And then, of course, Insano Apparel. And then on this side of my shirt, we have the Spin Master, BKT, Simpson, uh, Insano again. And um, because I have a lot of family members who are affected by Alzheimer's, I have the Alzheimer's Association on there to spread awareness. So that's on there. And then on the back here, we have my social media handles as well. So there it is, the Monster Jam OCD crew shirt, again, that I wear to events. So if you guys see me at an event, you'll probably see me wearing this. The rest of the crew shirts, we have my Bakugan Dragonoid uh, crew shirt, which was given to me by Spin Master. This is the red one. They obviously use a black one now for the drivers, but this is the original one. We have an international European uh, team destruction crew shirt uh, right there. A BKT crew shirt that I got on eBay. Uh, one of the uh, third gear, I think they're called, crew shirts. Just a black crew shirt with a Monstrum logo. I also call it the Doomsday crew shirt, which is one of my favorites. Uh, a Bajas crew shirt from International as well which is really cool. And then we have my custom problems, questions, monster crew shirt. One of the funniest things I think I've done. Uh, maybe not so funny, but uh, there it is. One of the 10 that I made or whatever it was. And then Savage One Custom sold me one of his one of two crew shirts. Thank you for that. It's very nice. And an anonymous person donated this USHRA yellow crew shirt to me. 
and another anonymous person donated this red uh, original uniform. So it's a really high quality um, leather, I think, here on the stripe. So it's really nice to have that. And then my original two that I used to wear to events before I became a little more official with this whole thing, we have the Max D, which is obviously the button up, which means it's the one from the Superstore. And then same with this, my first ever crew shirt, a little worn down nowadays, the Son of a Digger with the button up as well. So that completes the collection video. I want to also note that down here are the other trucks and you can see why I don't have them on display. There's just way too many. There's three bins full of Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks that I just can't get to in this video because it's gonna take way too much time. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the update to the collection. Unfortunately, I don't have a count for you, but if I do, I'll put it on screen. If not, I'll get to it hopefully next year. There's just too many. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to everyone who's helped out completing the Hot Wheels Monster Jam collection. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Jam OCD. Sending out.